Okay, when you are the autistic person in a family unit, people definitely take so much advantage of you. They use you for your goodness, but at the same time, they don't, you know, compensate for the, the stuff that you do for them. Like, they will ask you to do things for them, but and they will compensate you monetarily, but it's like your wage does not even equate or fit the workload that you just did. Like basically, if they will ask you to help them with something and they will overwork you and then they will underpay you. Why do they do this? It's because they know that you, they can, even if before they even knew you were autistic, they could tell that something was different about you socially and they know that you are a person where you're not willing to speak up or st like, say something about what you're receiving that you're the type of person where you will kind of just take what you get and this is another thing about neurotypicals that makes them so neurotypicals are so fucking bogus when they do this because they know what they're doing they know for a fact that they are asking somebody to do a lot of work for them so that they can it can help take a load off of them themselves and then they get this autistic person to come in someone that's giving someone that's very helpful someone willing to just you know kind of go with the flow and just kind of help out flow in but then what they want to do is they want to be stingy they want to hold off their money for themselves and say now nah, i'm not going to pay you a whole lot of money i'm gonna you know and the thing is what i'd ask in a person to pay a shit tons of money but at least pay the person what they're worth like you wouldn't put somebody to work for five days in a row to pay them less than a hundred dollars that week like that's just that's not right like you are requiring somebody to work for five days a week, eight hours a day, yet you are not even paying them a hundred dollars. That's wrong. We live in a world now where we realize that a hundred dollars is not a lot of money. A hundred dollars is like the bare minimum at this point. But these family members do this to the autistic person because they basically want a way to have the have their cake and eat it too. They want to get all of this help and they don't have to pay somebody too much money because they think I could just use this family member. I could just get whatever I want out of them and they're going to be fine. They're not going to say anything. They take advantage of the fact that you don't say anything and they overwork you. They continue to put more pressure on you and then they still don't even compensate you. And then it gets to a point where they get so entitled to you helping them that they start to just fall back and they start to just let you just take care of everything while they still are not compensating you. See, that'd be the problem. Be family members be wanting to go to other family members for help because they feel like they don't have to pay them enough or whatever. But no, nah, you're still asking another human being to help you out. Yes, they're family and they're willing to help you, but still compensate so people are more willing to work with you. Don't just go around using and taking advantage of people. And then eventually the autistic gets fed up and they abruptly leave and everyone's looking all confused and flabbergasted. And it's like, well, this is what you brought on yourself. You took advantage of them.